Hello and welcome back to the Vulcan Reapers. This is Anihan. And I'm Comet. And we're in the middle of a line. Paladin, would you like to speak? Yes, I'm so excited. Halt! I'm sorry to inform you. Oh my god. The Royal Guard has a dress code that is enforced at all times. Are you impressed? <laughs> you told me that I would not like this, and you were correct. Please continue. <laughs> it's okay, he's only got like one or two more lines. Thank you for going to the great lengths of putting on a skirt! Okay, this is the other paladin. This voice is done! Is, am I doing this paladin? Eh, I mean, you don't have to. I can do it if you want. Formal attire is required at all times. The king is in there, for goodness sakes. You can't go in there looking like you just fell out of a bed. There are rules, you know. But I did just fall out of bed. At least put on a tie or something. Show the king some respect. This is you, by the way. It's Butterfly. But that's not fair. Please, keep your voice down, Butterfly. But you just have to let me see the king. Guess we're going to help the Butterfly. Let's just, like, sneak you in under my hair. Oh, hello again. Yo. I see you two know each other? Wink. Yes, this is my friend. See, when people help each other out, they have these things like friends, you meanie. I can assure you that I am no meanie. Mm. I'm sorry, but we just do not allow insects at the royal court. It simply isn't done. The wow. king is a very busy man. I know, right? Insectist. That sounded really, really bad. <laughs> it did. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Buggest. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'm just gonna ignore that I said that. Okay. I'm sorry, but I must ask you to leave now. Hurf, harumph. He's prejudiced against butterflies. Can you believe that in this day and age? They probably didn't let you into the king because of the way you're dressed, huh? More prejudice. How can people get so uptight about dressing formally? You even have a personal invitation from the king. Oh, this makes me so... Ding! Hey, wait a second. I think I know how to get us both inside the royal court. There's like a window on the second balcony. You want to try something sneaky? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hex, yeah. Uh, forget it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yay! So, just trust me on this one, okay? I've had much practice hitting a moving target, so stand still. Wait, what? Magic blast! Fireball! <laughs> Viola. By the way, it's a voila, but I know. You've heard of a bow tie? Well, say hello to the world's first butter tie. I'm just gonna go see the king now. Oh, I guess this voice isn't done yet. Halt in the name of the king! I will not let you again, Ned. I will not tell you again that your outfit is not... Oh, what's that sparkly thing under your chin? That's the prettiest boat I have ever laid my eyes on. Darn too. Hey, Dave! Check out the tie on this kid! <laughs> it's so... fetching. You should have worn that earlier! Such a splendid piece of fire is a professor from the castle god! A tie of yours. It seems a little lively. But go on ahead. I honestly thought that voice was done. I wasn't expecting more. Psst! I can't believe it really worked! Way to play it cool. Now just stride on in there like you belong this entire time. I wonder if this silent protagonist dick ever gets old for the silent protagonists. 
I like to think that they've just got like really bad laryngitis and the doctor is like, hey, if you talk, you'll lose your voice forever. Oh, and no. they're like, shit! <clears throat> Do you want to be the king uh, or the queen? Queen. 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 Neither. I suppose the king. <laughs> well, you. Oh, do I have to do a TV voice then? You don't have to. Huh? Oh, well, you, you, can... you certainly took your time Yay! responding to my summons. I was summons. hoping you'd do a speedier, higher pitch. I'm voice. sorry if I've inconvenienced you at all. After all, I, Eric, eleventh king of Castel, am only the ruler of our entire realm. Sure. Let me wait. <laughs> Tell your guards that, asshole. I ask for so little. That's because you are little. Oh! <laughs> anyway, so it is my royal duty to explain to you how all citizens choose a life that they wish to pursue. But isn't there a class on this instead? As King Eric, your rightful, kind, benevolent, sexy, tall, and wonderful, loving ruler, so allow tall. me to congratulate you on this auspicious day. Strong. It's not like every day that we're graced by the presence of a young, uh... Ellipses. S sorry, um, wh which life did you choose? I forgot what they said in the morning briefing. Does that make me Ophelia? Yup. Should she have a manly voice then, since he's got a chibi voice? Just to balance I it mean, out? I mean, make it like a matronly voice. Matron, layman's term, sis. Uh, you know in Sucker Punch how there's that one lady who like runs the brothel. The, the Russian lady? <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> oh, like I can do that. <laughs> I do. I actually, that accent is not in my repertoire. I was kidding. That was just the first example that I could think of. Um, it's not the Russian part. It's like I know, but I can't get the mannerisms without the accent first. Then I get the mannerisms. Then I can drop the accent. Uh. Like okay. So think mid forties, powerful, leads people. Yeah, if it's not funny, I'm not gonna know what it is. <laughs> we all know That's you're the elegant yourself. one. <laughs> oh, okay, Eric. um... Honestly, can't you just pretend to be even the slightest bit interested? No, like never! That, okay? That's more graceful than I was expecting. Oh, well, there you go. Call me Grace. <laughs> what? I can't be expected to remember every... A little... Oh, it doesn't matter. So, middle life, you have chosen to lead you to glory, whatever it may freaking be. Fame, success, all that good stuff. Got it? Um, so this is the king? A little boy? <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Now you're mumbling to yourself? My speeches are so boring. Is that it? Yes. I like a lass who isn't afraid to show her feelings. Hmm, a refreshing change from the common lickspittle. That's a weird word. Allow me to introduce my wife, Queen Ophelia. Pleasure. Congratulations on starting your life, Krisk. Oh. Your hard work in your new life will be a great benefit and an inspiration to those closest to you. Please remember oh, like the butterfly? that what what? Huh? She said those closest to you, like the butterfly. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Much. Please remember that what you do for yourself, you also do for all of Bavaria. So if you start some shit. Yeah! I mean, what? <laughs> she smells like a meadow in the springtime. I like her. <sighs> the reluctantly smiling young lady to my right is. Frickin' missing! Gone. She's gone, darling. Princess Laura left quite a while ago. Rip. Oh, that girl is shameless when it comes to openly defying my orders. I told her to stay in the castle. 
Doesn't she know that children are supposed to listen to their parents? Sounds like the princess has a real wild streak. I like her. Let's kidnap I mean become friends with her. Yeah. Same way who uh, we and the butterfly made friends? Yeah. Wait, I don't think we gotta wear the princess as clothing. Something like that. Just the hat. Yeah. Well, I'll just have to deal with her later. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. As a subject of mine, I ask that you conduct yourself with dignity at all times. Most importantly, enjoy your chosen life and cherish the opportunity to share it with others. Gather much dosh if you so wish. Pursue a life filled with bliss if you so desire. Or just collect dandelion puffs until you keel over. It's up to you. Knock yourself out. Literally, please. Goodbye. And may the odds ever be in your favor. Indeed. That's what your voice reminded me of. <laughs> All reside in our great land of Bavaria are free to live however they see fit. Risk the alchemist horse. Yeah, I did remember. We'll follow a singular path here to fall uncharted since the first sunrise. Please accept these gifts from the royal family as a token of our happiness for your future prosperity. Also, please Sweet pay your taxes. Money. Okay, thanks. Oh, it's going back to you? Sweet! A map of the world! We would also like to provide you with a basic set of novice armor for your life. Try it on, please. Sweet! You look so excited. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Chris, you really scored here. Hey, it's about equipping stuff. Click on it, wow. and it's yours. You put it on. Much. How's that for even the slightest bit interesting? Very impressive, darling. Thank you. Good to know the king still got it. Now, on to our next matter of business. Bye. As you may or may not know, in Riveria, we offer a master for each life. This will be your mentor. Yay. You begin as a novice under the tutelage of a master. This is how it has always been done. Once you have earned your master's respect, you will be promoted to the rank of fledgling, and then kicked out of the nest. Your life does not change, just your rank. With hard work, you may achieve the level of master yourself. Who knows? You may even surpass it and attain the level of hero, or, dare I mention, legend. Or creator, which is basically god level. Yes. Smooth. What? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, you must meet with the alchemist master. Did you think there wasn't going to be a god complex? Oh no, I, I just... It, the god level is called the creator? I see. May doing so prepare you for an exciting and fulfilling chapter of your newly budding life. Yeah, that's great. Also, sweet I time. Okay. Hold on. Bye. Don't. Bye! Oh, my God. Well, Ed Crisk, my keen subject, now you must make your way to the master post haste. <laughs> I thought I said to the master's prostate. <laughs> 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 You're welcome for that. <laughs> I wish you eternal luck in your new alchemist life. This is why the protagonist is always silent. I get it now. Should you ever become disheartened, you are always welcome to drop strength here at the castle. Just don't you know, spend all your time just hanging around the castle. But that's what I want to do! No, go ahead and pay taxes. Babbage! <laughs> <laughs> you just run in. <laughs> run around. Hi, bye. Bye. <laughs> Just imagine a smoke trail behind you. And better tie off. Such a horrible pun. P.S. The king's voice hurt my throat. <laughs> Yay! And I'm going to forget it. Guaranteed. Oh, don't worry, next I will episode. remind you. TV voice. Oh, okay. That was great. I gotta see the king thanks to you. 
You played it real smooth in there. Didn't even laugh once. Well done. See, now I'm just imagining Frisk talking to this butterfly, just like, that deadpan face he's got, like, hmm. Meh. Well, I guess this is where we part ways. Good luck in your new life, Frisk. Hey, bye. Did I mention that your new duds look really great? The king definitely set you up. Okay, great, Wait, bye. he setting me up? <gasps> Ellipses. Uh, you seem a little naked around the neck, though. If it gets cold, it's not gonna be very comfortable. It's almost as if your outfit could use one more accessory. Just ah. turn into a damn butter tie and go back on. Da, 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 da. You just look like you're lacking a little something. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, I've got another great idea! It just doesn't make sense for you to go out alone. Take a butterfly with you. That makes much more sense. It's dangerous outside. <laughs> I mean, it's such a big world, Chris. You can get so much more accomplished with a friend. Your sound speaks volumes. Oh great, it's naughty. You're, just... <laughs> You're gonna make me come out and beg, aren't you? Yep. I don't even have knees, come on! You have to let me come with you. Rivari is no place for a butterfly on its own. Eh, why not? <laughs> no way! Do you want to say no way? I want to see what happens. No way! Ah! That's cold. Look, you need a companion in this new chapter of your life. Plus, I can help you get into formal affairs. You know you're just prolonging the inevitable. Stop breaking the fourth wall. Also, I'm not giving you a choice. If you say no, I'm just going to follow you anyway. So how about it? Oh, I was gonna say, you wanna say no to watch the butterfly follow us? Uh, okay. okay. Yes, you won't regret this, I promise. I'm gonna regret this for every second for the rest of my life. I knew you'd see things my way, mostly because it's written into the plot. Aw, uh, yeah. Well, at least it doesn't follow us around like a Navi. Very true. Oh, yeah. We need to visit this master next. Master, master! The king gave you a map, right? Let's buzz that baby out and see where we're going. It's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map. Okay, we're done. <sighs> it helps you map stuff. Yay! Let's see where we need to go and make the acquaintance of your new master. Hey, you can save at things with, that are crystals and their sims heads and they have wings. Or you can just save here. I see. We look like we're so done with this. Like, just get me out of here. <laughs> we Got do. a little knife and everything. Just, I'm done <laughs> with this. Go find the alchemy master. Or but we I can think... go home. No, home. Oh, I think we're done thing. with this time on the Vulcan Reapers, yeah? Just about. Oh, yeah, I guess we are because we're there. <laughs> yeah. So, Did yeah. Did you not read a map? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to it. Ah. So, yeah, that's what it for this episode. And we're going to go study and become awesome -er in the next episode. Live long and prosper, nerds. So, get if everything. Bye.